Reading Pioneers is proud to present If You Take a Mouse to School by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to school, He'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. And a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. When you get to school, He'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. Then he'll need to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean, He'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house. And make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own so he'll need a lot of paper. He'll probably use up all your pencils. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. And do a little skateboarding. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack so he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him back to school. Thank you everyone for reading along with us to the story, If You Take a Mouse to School. For many, the school semester is right around the corner and it's important to think about the fun things that you can do at school despite the situations that we are currently living in. So I wanna say thank you to all of the teachers, students, administrators, and parents who are fighting through these times and doing the best for the students. If you have any recommendations for future stories to be read on this channel, you can email me, contact at readingpioneers.com, and I'll be sure to try to find the book and upload it as a read aloud. Additionally, if you have stories you would like for me to read that you have, you can also send them to me, and I'd be glad to upload them onto the channel so then more people can read your story as well. But that's going to be it for today. So thanks everyone again for watching this video. Click that thumbs up button, and subscribe for more read alouds. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.